Business Process Modeling with BPMN. Interrupting and non-interrupting events. This example shows the receipt of a membership application, perhaps for a club of some sort. In the normal flow of this process, following receipt of the application, it will be reviewed to decide whether or not to offer membership. We've already seen events attached to the boundary of an activity. Activities in this case may be tasks or sub-processes. Here, I've shown a message event attached to the boundary of the task Receive Application for Membership. Logically enough, events attached to an activity boundary are referred to as boundary events. They're used to model exception handling. I've mentioned previously that whereas intermediate events on the normal flow of a process may catch or throw triggers, boundary events can only catch. These events are caught whilst the activity is running. Multiple boundary events can be associated with a single activity. I've added a timer event just to demonstrate this point. A boundary event may or may not cause its associated activity to terminate. A boundary event that causes the associated activity to terminate is known as an interrupting event. The thin double lines of the circle are solid. This example shows an interrupting message event. When an interrupting boundary event is caught, the associated activity is terminated. A new token is generated and follows a sequence flow known as an exception flow. In the example, the message is a request to withdraw the application. The exception flow leads to the task Withdraw Application. This takes the necessary actions. Following the guideline in the BPMN specification, I've shown the exception flow going down and then right. Obviously, it's possible for the applicant to withdraw the application whilst it's being reviewed, i.e. during the task that follows Receive Application. I might have chosen to put these tasks in a sub-process, perhaps called Approve Application for Membership, and place the event on the boundary of that. A non-interrupty event doesn't terminate the associated activity. Both of the thin double lines of a non-interrupting event are dotted. In this example, the message is a request to update the applicant's details. There's no need to stop the activity to do this. The original token will continue on the normal flow to the next activity. At the same time, a parallel flow is started. In this example, the task on the parallel flow is Update Applicant Details. The commonest situation is probably that the parallel flow is brought to an end event, as shown here. Depending on the situation, the modeler may want to merge the parallel flow back into the normal flow. As usual, a parallel gateway can be used to synchronize the flows. This is a more complete example that shows the messages being passed from and to the applicant. An application is received from an applicant. If the application is approved, a membership package is sent to the applicant. For simplicity, I've assumed that their status remains as applicant rather than member at this point. A withdrawal request may be received from the applicant. After removing the application, a confirmation of withdrawal is issued. There are other types of event that can be attached to an activity boundary, some of which are shown here. The top row are all interrupting events. The bottom row are all non-interrupting. Notice that all the markers are unfilled, i.e. light-coloured. These are catching events. Thanks for watching.